I got treasure chests. Uh, Punisher's Crown True Tower Shield. Hyperborean Bullshear, plus four. Scrolls of Protection. Now those Scrolls of Starlight Protection are not super useful. Dreadspire Sanctum. Here we go! The Dreadfoom. At last, the Great Madeline. Mighty Pillar of Strength. Mazik warned me about you, but then I just laughed because I'm going to crush you with unbelievable foom. You stumble drunkenly into danger, far greater than you can possibly conceive, clown. I hope you at least bothered to bring some interesting treasure with you. There's no way I'm losing to you after grinding through ten floors of purple slimy crap. Uh, Mazik, are you seriously going to let this guy boss you around dressed like that? I guess he is. So, now I'm curious... I haven't looked this up or seen any information on it, but I'm curious if there's any difference here if you leave Mazik alive. I took him out first last time. But maybe I'll go for the Dreadfoom just to see what happens. Okay, we can do one potion per... I mean, Ancient King potion. Let's start out with Furious Foomings. And then start out with Beastly Battle, because I've got quite a lot of those. And then when I do something like a Storm Driver, Bleeding. Uh, let's try crowd control, get both these guys out of my face. And whenever he's got his bubble shield up, I think we want to hit him with an orb of despair. So I've got elemental battle. Yeah, I've got basically every buff I can need, so let's... Uh, which of my buffs is going to fall off next? Not really any of them. I guess I have enough science that the uh, potion durations stay up there pretty well. I, I kind of like the idea of just pushing my Zeke around. This guy keeps refreshing his, uh... His stupid shield. Ah, uh, we got Battle Elemental. Let's try another Ancient King and then, um... I want to see the launching attack, see how much that does on Dreadfoom. Yeah, that's just fine. Obliteration Swarm, do I care about that? I suppose I have so many healing potions, I might as well keep one of them constantly in effect. Just in case I end up taking a bad hit. But so far, I'm not super concerned. The Dreadfoom is now pinned, but I, I want to stay in his face because then every time that my spear launch cooldown comes back, I can definitely just hit him with the good stuff, and that is absolutely the good stuff. Is 
Is it worth using more bending, I wonder? Let's try out a couple of these. And then let's crowd control them all away over here. And then... I would like to ignore Mazik as much as possible. I'm curious what happens if, he's, if he dies second, or if he doesn't die at all. Okay, let's get some more damage bonuses up, like Furious Fooming. Because this causes all my Starlight attacks to hit super hard. I'm actually surprised at how much damage I'm doing to Mezik without targeting him. Just because of all the counters. Um, hmm. Let's keep Defiance up in this encounter, I think, because what it, uh, when the enemy hits with a whole bunch of small attacks, it's pretty great. Because all it, each one of them is going to boost my next turn's damage. Okay, Dreadfoom, you're going to get launched this turn for sure. Spear launch. And then I think my battle potion wore off, so let's drink one of those. In fact, I could probably switch out to the higher quality ones. Uh... Uh, well, that's an awfully strange tactical decision you've made there. I'm going to crowd control my Zeke all the way over there. Uh, let's get some champion going and then... Do I have Storm Drive up again? I do. I, I like to get as far away from Mazik as possible. I'll launch you, buddy. So the physical component does about 764, and then I get another 1,000 from the Starlight. Yeah, this is going pretty brilliantly. All according to plan. Now let's get Orbit of Spare on him. Uh, can I do it over their Storm Drive? Uh, do I have Hold the Line ready? I do not, actually. But I do have launch ready, so yeah, this dude's getting launched. Yeah. Look at all that refreshing iced tea. I wonder if I should go for that. Uh, we're going to crowd control everybody that's going this way. Dread Foom! Got a thousand health left. So yeah, Mazik is still alive. I wonder if this changes anything. Oh, Dungeon Mans, did you truly think this would be so easy? Not a chance. Alright, yeah, here we go. True Foom, activate. Time for motion sickness nausea. Alright. 
Um, Alright, we're going to use Ancient King Potions. Keep that in effect the whole time. Definitely want all my banners in effect at all times as well. Uh, and then we also want to have a Furious Fuming Potion, and we might as well use the, the high quality ones. I'm going to just go ahead and slap those. Let's see how many I have. Here's Fuming 3. Let's go ahead and use those until they're gone. And then throw down my other banner right on top of this. Okay, and that guy, those guys are weak, but they turn into ice pillars when you kill them, which is important. You want to not destroy the ice pillar. Alright. Alright, I gotta. S let's pay attention to how much each of the, my techniques actually does against this guy. So. The Star Cross does 273 melee and 1599 Starlight. Um, and then this Javelin attack. Does 258 ranged and 559 starlight, so it's significantly less. But of course, it's you know it's just an earlier move. Uh, scroll protection purple. Let's keep that up pretty much full time. And with my current science level, the resist purple scroll does 39 rounds. All right, let's. Can I actually launch the final foom? I don't know what the sprite's gonna do if I try to use my launch attack, but now I have to find out. So, get launched. <laughs> yep, it works. <laughs> it looks very silly, but it works. Alright. And then let's try a little bit of war bending. I'm worried about my cooldowns. Alright, let's go take cover. This is going to be instant death wave number one, so let's jump over here. You know nothing of food, Dungeon Man's. Bear witness to the power of destruction! Uh, how about we not? Um, and then I'm going to use my... Let's use the better beastly battles. Oh, and I've only got two of those, so let's not. Uh, we're going to stick with these beastly battles. Annihilation! Uh, I wish you'd kind of get on with it. Alright, this is all fine. Uh, so his his basic every round little dart does 200. Uh, I need a lot more furious fuming. Let's keep the these going because I need the elemental damage. And we're gonna launch him. That's such incredible damage. It's like yeah, that's almost 2,000. Uh, we're missing ancient king. Drink one of those quick. And then... More Starlight Rain. This is all going to be just Starlight damage, I think. And as long as he doesn't do anything to break my banners, I think we're good to go. He's got so many dots on him. I've got two different Starlight dots and some poison and some bleeding. Yeah, he's almost at half health. Oh, okay, we've got another ice pillar. This is good. Uh, 
Elemental Battle, Ancient King, Resist Purple. Everything's fine. So let's just... Let's see if we can get him down to 30k before the next Annihilation. Uh, we're going to launch you, buddy. What? Final Foom drains away 24 points of strength from Madeline and stores them into a Power Crystals? <gasps> I've never seen that attack. Does that mean that I have to go fetch them? Okay, this is safe from Annihilation, so let's just chill out. You know nothing of Foom Dungeon Man's bear witness to the power of destruction. Oh, so his Annihilation will destroy those crystals and release everything. Okay, that's a lot less scary now. So I can just chill out and wait. I don't really have to... Okay, the ice the ice blocks are gone now, but let's rebuff everything. I'm missing Ancient King. I do have Resist Purple. Uh, where are my ranged attacks at? There we go. And I'm not going to run out of stamina. Shouldn't anyway. Uh, he's gonna get launched again. Boom! Okay, we need Furious Fooming to happen. Alright, so... Um, now we also need Battle. Let's go ahead and use the really strong Beastly Battle 3. Okay, we've got... Alright, so that's two ice blocks for the next Annihilation. That should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and do Warbending. It adds a bit of damage to my melee. Either. The end comes, Dungeon Mans. So there's this mysterious bubble tile. And I think I can reach that if I use Storm Driver. There is nowhere to run now, except that one tile, but it is probably too far away. <laughs> Ignore it. Just in case I'm misjudging this, I'm going to use a scroll of defy damage. Hey, get out of there and take your impending on making like a man's. <laughs> but I'm not a man's. I'm a lady man's. <laughs> I love that. Just over the top alpha strike. All right, we survived. Yeah, I'm gonna get in his face again so I can use my launch attack. This does the most damage, this one right here. It flings him into the air and then hits him five times with Starlight. He's down to about 10,000. I'm not too concerned. Let's just keep the Starlight going, because my elemental damage is so great. Alright, but now we have to... So we're going to have to save the Storm Driver cooldown. There's nowhere to run except that one tile, and it's probably too far away. Yeah, it's a shame. I think I'll, I'll keep the fight damage up just because I'm paranoid. Uh, 
And then, so we don't waste turns, I'm going to use Combat Blink to get back up. And then my launch ability should be ready. Alright, we lost Ancient King. Uh, but now we've got... Yeah, this one. That's a, that's a pretty good bunch. That's almost as much damage as the launch technique. Alright, so right on Q, I think he does that on purpose, so in case you only have one stamina movement ability that's got a cooldown of 5, it'll always be up so that you can use it to get to the save tile. Yep, sorry buddy. We're going to use a combat blink to get up there just so I can use my launch attack again because that's what's doing all the damage. Combat blink into his face. Uh, Furious Fuming 3. And then, launch him. Here it comes! <laughs> it's so stupid! <laughs> it never stops. It's actually, even though this is like top tier stuff, it's like very slightly tedious to pick it all up. Rocket Surgeons Defiant Parapets. Star Crux plus four. Oh man, he actually had loot that was... Oh, amazingly, the final foom drops a proof of strength. In the first hurry! Oh, there's the achievement popped. The Iron Will of the Dungeon Men's.